Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today, I'm so excited to show you this gorgeous house behind me. So, what are we here to tour? We're here to tour the Hanwell, and we are at a fabulous Hayfield Homes development in Adderbury, which is just sh a short distance from the town of Banbury and the city of Oxford. Yes, yeah, so we're in Oxfordshire. So what are we here to tour? A five bedroom, three bathroom property, as you can see behind me, it is stone clad. It's got some interesting details, which I can't wait to point out to you. So you can just see the lights glowing through on this kind of gloomy day. But the house looks really impressive, doesn't it? So in terms of the statistics, as I mentioned, it's five bedroom, three bathroom. All the other details are gonna pop up using editing magic. It is 2,172 square feet and it's very eco-friendly. There is a fast charging electric vehicle charging point on every house on this development and the whole house is powered by air source heat pumps. I'm so excited. I am a bit cold to be honest, but I'm buzzing with excitement to start the tour. Let's start with an external tour. And as you can see, you've got planting at the front which is just gorgeous. And then you've got this beautiful, beautiful kind of gravel entrance into this porched area, great porch canopy, statement front door. And now we're gonna transfer and I'm gonna show you the rest of the house on the inside and we'll get straight into the property tour as I welcome you into the house, okay? Now let's get straight into this tour, wow. Okay, now we're gonna do first impressions, right? So you're in the hallway and what a feature this is. Number one, I absolutely love the paneling detail on the ceiling with the spotlights. That is beautiful. I also love these architrave details to all the hallways. So all the hallways have this on the inside, but then on the other side of the room, you have something completely different, which I'm gonna show you in a second. But let's go through it in the property vlogs order. We'll start at the first thing that you're coming through, which is this front door. What a statement front door it is. You've got these vertical panels. It's kind of like a cottage style door with like glazed, with a glazed insert. You've got glazed inserts either side bringing in so much light into here and obviously we're now in autumn so it is a bit darker a bit cooler and it's so nice to be in here but bear that in mind on a summer's day this space would be flooded with so much light so i love the decor this oversized table definitely definitely kind of adds a really nice touch to the space in this hallway we've got these large format tiles you can see and they run all the way through the main spaces. I'm gonna show you that in a second. And then the color scheme is lovely. You've got this kind of like matte paint on the wall and then you've got satin, a satin paint which contrasts really nicely with it. We're gonna go into the first room which is over here, which as you can see is like your home office, your study slash work from home space. So with it being a study and it's labeled a study on the floor plans as well, it's actually got improved acoustics. So there's, they've beefed up the sound insulation. So as soon as I've walked into here, it's so quiet. And this is obviously to help you work from home. And as soon as that door's closed, it's like you're in a whole different world, really. You can concentrate. So that's fantastic. I love the bespoke carpentry. That's great. So again, that is staging. And so is the furniture. But everything else is a standard fixture. So let me just, let's do a bit of kind of like role play. So you pull out your chair, you sit at your desk, and if you're somebody that runs a business or you have anything where you need to concentrate, you know, you can imagine that this is such a great position because you have views through the window of the front property, front of the property, the front gardens to anybody coming in clients or anything like that, you'd be able to see them easily. I love the furniture, I love the staging. Of course, I love the other things that come with the property like the ceiling heights. I love the fact that the window is actually a low level sill. So as you're sat down at that level where your eyes are lower down, you can still see out. Yeah, see what I did there? So yeah, that's great. And of course, we've got some amazing fixtures in this property. I love the 
kind of like matte black light switches. And I think this might be a good time to say, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, please like this video, subscribe to us, because we've got another tour of a beautiful, beautiful property by Hayfield Homes. But again, sticking with this one, let's stay in the hallway. Let me just show you something a bit practical, shall we? We're gonna look through here. So don't you just love the ironmongery, the, the handles, the hinges that contrast beautifully with the door. We've got an understair star cupboard. So this would be a good position for a clerk room. It does have a light fixture, which you can turn on. And you can see there's an underfloor manifold there, services, speakers, all of that stuff can easily go there. Easy for maintenance and access straight off the front door. Now I'm just wondering which room should we go into first? We're gonna go into that room, right? So over here, We've got our formal dining. You're gonna notice this is completely open. So this is intentional. But again, it's so easy to put a set of glazed double doors here, which can close this space off, but still allow you to have light flowing between the two spaces. So in the formal dining room, right now we've got a six seater. It's a very large six seater, isn't it? Cause it overhangs over here and over there. We've got these pendant lights and we've got a dual aspect room here. We've got a large, window configuration facing the front and then a large window facing the back and i've just noticed one two three four five of these um window segments open outwards so that's lots of opportunity for light and fresh air in this space so again it is staged as a dining room but does it have to be it could be a playroom if you want to yeah or maybe this could be your home office it's up to you so let's come back out off the carpeted dining area, back into the beautiful tiled space. We're not gonna go into that just yet, but we are gonna head in that direction because I want to show you the downstairs toilet. Another fantastic space. So through here, we've got our downstairs toilet. As you can see here, we've got a mirror at the far end. We've got half height tiling this gorgeous tile. We've got a two piece suite, which is a sink and a toilet by Laufen. And then the toilet also had, has a hidden cistern. And have you spotted a radiator? Have you spotted a tower rail? I'm sure you haven't because the whole ground floor is underfloor heating. So I really love that. So it's so warm and cozy in here. And you know, a lot of people think that underfloor heating just heats the ground and then the rest of the space feels cold. Not at all. The underfloor heating radiates the heat upwards and it creates a really nice kind of um, really nice temperature in the house. But that's not it. This is another room. So we're going to now go over there and I'm going to show you that other room. So towards here is and through this glazed door. Isn't this just fantastic? I love this. Such a great piece of design. It's like we're connected but acoustically separated. And as soon as I've closed that door, it is so quiet in here again. So I know the study has great acoustics, but even this room has great acoustics. So again, I'm thinking top spec, great, great details. Don't you just love the paneling as well? I love the paneling that they've done in this show home throughout. It Beautiful. So we've got a rectangular room here with a focal point on that wall. We've got double doors facing the rear garden this way. And then both of these open above. So you can get fresh air into this room without having to open the doors. You've got the, um, the seating area over there. But again, it can be a barbecue area. And we will show you the garden tour. Stick around for that later. I love the oversized four seater over there armchair over there, armchair, but you could definitely put like an L-shaped sofa over there or a large armchair. You've got a huge coffee table in the middle and you can just see the proportions of the furniture with this lamp being almost as tall as my height is showing you that the room is a really, really good size. So this is the downstairs kind of formal lounge living area. Again, if you want, maybe this could be a games room because it leads to the garden. I like to suggest a lot of things because you don't need to take it so literal off what's been labeled on the plan. You need to customize your house to suit what you want it to be. We've got the staircase going up to the first floor, but without further ado, I want to show you your open plan, kitchen, breakfast bar, and dining and living space. Hello. Hi, hi, 
<laughs> so you can definitely get the sense of scale. I hope it's coming up on the camera. But first, I'm going to go through the kitchen space and I'm going to show you what's behind these double doors in a second. So over here, you can see the style of the kitchen. You've got shaker style doors. The color palette is like so well kind of coordinated with the paint colors. So it matches beautifully with the architraves, the skirting boards. Got a fridge freezer. Yes, guys, spoiler alert, <laughs> right? Fridge and a freezer. That is ample space for the size of home that we're looking at over here, both by Siemens and again on soft closers. And you'd not be able to tell that a fridge was in there. I love the fact that it's just completely hidden away. Shaker style, as I said, and then you've got the matte black hinges again. Those are great. I mean, if we can get a clip of those, that'd be amazing. Just to show how beautiful that is. Okay, now, kitchen space, right? You can see the sockets are done in that black effect so that we've got continuity across the whole house. You've got recessed elevating underneath the wall-mounted cabinets. The wall-mounted cabinets are taken all the way to the top. Yes, so the storage is just enormous. <clears throat> Normally you'd have maybe a shelf, but now you've got two shelves. Mm, that's great, so I love that. So I talked about the recessed lighting at the wall-mounted level. So we've also got recessed lighting at the lower level. And I love a little quirk, like this corner that's actually been chamfered and rounded, so it's not sharp. I love that. So now we've got our sink, one and a half sink, stainless steel sink by Frank. And I love this beautiful worktop. Wow. Specification of like, the specifications of materials like the doors, the handles, they're all customizable and you can choose that. And so that's a conversation to be had with the sales team. You've got a window right in front of your sink, which is a massive tick. And you've got beautiful views of the surrounding context, your garden, the countryside, etc. And you can see the sun's kind of setting, isn't it? So we've got our dishwasher also by Siemens here, really well positioned by the sink. And then we've got more storage over here. And then we've got this configuration. One, two, three, four. Wow, okay, that's great. I love that. Siemens, microwave oven and ovens. And you've got more than enough for the house size. I love it. Wow, I've never seen, well, I have actually, but it's really rare that I see four appliances. You know, the turkey in one, vegetables, you know, potatoes, you know, that's what we're thinking. And then we've got this, which I absolutely love. Wow. Beautiful. A storage shelf. You can have your recipe books there. Additional decor pieces can go in this space. And that's just all part of the kitchen space. Now, let's look at the kitchen island. Now I'm going to show you the kitchen island. So the kitchen island, we've got, again, storage, everything on soft closers. We've got the hob here, induction hob by Siemens, a very high-tech appliance. You've got the downdraft extract fan here. So all the kind of any smells of cooking can just be sucked straight into there without the need of a massive bulkhead above. We've got clear ceilings here with the spotlights and pendants. Storage here, and I love the way the worktop is taken and wrapped down and over. That's a fantastic detail. More expensive than just having it on the top. And then let's come round, and I wanna show you this. This pop-up box here is sockets and USB connection charging point. So that is your kitchen island. And then on this side, we've got one, two, three, four seats for the breakfast bar and storage underneath that. Yes, guys, more storage. Wow, what a kitchen, L-shaped kitchen. Great, I love it, fantastic. So off the kitchen, there's a little mystery door, which I'll show you in a second. But you can see there, there's a space for a TV. You've got a triple aspect room here, guys. We've got a window facing the kind of nook in the garden. You've got your bifolding doors over here. And actually, this would be a great time for me to show you something. I wanna show you a detail, and then we're gonna put in the garden tour to show you how this detail works with the garden. So when you open the door part of the bifolding door, can you see what I'm looking at? So obviously it's a rainy cold day, but we've got a linear threshold drain. The water will go into there and will not be tracked in 
that is fantastic. You don't always see that. And normally if you do see a drain, there's a massive step up into the house. This is so level. It's called a level threshold detail and it's an architectural detail and they've gone the extra mile to do that detail. So now I'm gonna show you how you're gonna to get to the back garden. So through this timber fence, I'm gonna show you the garden now. Don't you just love the paving slabs, the choice of materials? So as you, see, as you can see, you get paving slabs, you get lawn, and this is a show home, so there is a bit of extra jazzing up being done here. You can see the air source heat pump there. It is so quiet, you can't hear anything. And that is what's powering all the heating in the house, along with the fact that this development also boasts solar panels, yeah. That's something to consider. Very, very eco-friendly. From the back, you can see the house. It's L-shaped in the floor plan. You can see the windows are gray on the outside and white on the inside. You've got lights either side of the entrances, and then you've got an opportunity to create a, such a nice entertainment area. The garage is on that side, which you can access through that door. And guys, it is a bit chilly. So like this video, if you really appreciate this garden tour being done in this windy autumn day. What, Brian, what are you saying? Oh, this area. So this area, before I move away, we need to talk about this dining nook over here. Again, it's shown as a four-seater, but is it a four-seater? I mean, I was going to move all the furniture around and I realised, let's not destroy the staging, shall we? But you can definitely fit in more if you want to, is what I'm trying to say, more chairs or seats, there's space around it to do so. And then over here, I love the way they've put the furniture arrangement here. I mean, they've really, really shown you what you can get here. We've got a large armchair there and two seats there. Again, you could have put one there and one there and have even more seats because this looks like it's a three seater. And then you've got the window right behind it, bringing in lots of natural light. And then, and then obviously like now, as the sun is setting, you can see views of um, around the property. I like that. I like that feature. Yeah, that's lovely. So yeah, so is that it? No, we are not done guys. The bonus room I was talking about is your laundry room slash utility. So again, you've got a bonus space for you to kind of get your laundry done, or this could, like, you could omit the last appliance and have a dog bed in there by the kitchen. And all of these appliances are tucked away. So when they're kind of uh, being used, they're not kind of making loud noises that kind of disturbs the open plan space. You can kind of close it away. We've got cupboards, we've got storage, we've got the appliances, and we've got our beautiful, beautiful worktop stone worktop. We've got this stainless steel sink by Frank with a mixer tap and then we've got shelving for decor. I love the fact that they've used the same specification as the kitchen. Of course there's a window in here as well. In the lock. So that's mystery door. And now I'm going to take you to the first floor. Now we are upstairs or on the first floor. As you can see, we've got a U-shaped landing. I love the solid wooden balustrades and they've painted them black. Again, that's kind of like a show home quirk, you know, the fact that they've painted them black, but it's such a fantastic kind of idea. If you do like this um, house type and you do want to purchase this house type. So let's go into one of the rooms. So, ooh, actually this would be a fantastic opportunity to tell you something. When I walked into that room, I noticed that there's no threshold strip. So there's not that pesky metal bar that you step over that kind of bumps you as you're walking in. It's seamless and it felt so nice. I know that must have been difficult to do because you do have to be getting, you have to kind of coordinate that together, but it's really nice to know that they've gone that extra mile. We are in one of the bedrooms here. This is a single bedroom. And I feel like taking a picture of that. <laughs> That, I want that in my house. <laughs> that is lovely. It's like it was meant to be. I love the way the headboard um, perfectly sized to fit in with the rest of this wall and this textured wallpaper. 
So it's a single bedroom and we've got a window facing the rear garden, a radiator, space for a wardrobe at the foot of the bed. And yeah, that is one of the bedrooms. But I'm just going to show you something really quickly. I didn't mention it when we were... I want to touch on the doors. Look at these doors. Beautiful profiling, profile details and they're painted in that kind of warm grey colour. And then you can see the kind of the architraves that are around them. Very, very out of the ordinary and it definitely adds to this property. So now we're coming into this room. This is another bed. As you can see, this room is a really good size. You can fit a bed, two bedside tables, and then a huge chunky dresser there. But again, most likely you'd have a wardrobe there if you are not a fan of a dressing table. Uh, but yeah, it's a good size. There's a window also facing the rear garden and a radiator. And the next room is this one over here. Wow, I'm just going to wait for you to catch up with me. You know, you've got wardrobe space over there, so you don't even notice it because it doesn't really eat into the space in this bedroom. And you've got a bed here. And if you wanted to learn about decor or staging, this is the house tour for you because everything I'm seeing so far complements everything so beautifully. I love this oversized headboard where the bedside lamps have actually been built into the headboard. I've not seen that before. I definitely haven't even seen it in like a five-star hotel. We've got switches either side which is great for not when you don't want to get out of bed to go and turn off the lights. But again in terms of space and architecture we've got a large bed with a bedside table either side and we've got tall ceilings and we've got a large window facing the pro front of the property we've got the radiator underneath that so like i said earlier we've got underfloor heating downstairs and radiators upstairs right which is very typical and let me show you this so this is mystery door number one on this floor this is your linen store slash store cupboard so again storage is a big feature in these homes i love that you've got that there because it's right next to your family bathroom so through the family bathroom you've got a fixed piece a fixed mirror there that does come with the house you don't have to worry about that we've got half height tiling in this gorgeous tiling which complements the floor tiles as well it's a four piece suite so it takes all the boxes you've got your bathtub there your toilet your sink and then your shower your large shower with this which I absolutely absolutely love so this is your shower valve which has been positioned outside of the wet area in the shower again i love the contemporary glass panel there protecting this area from the wet area and then you've got a rain head fixture above the handheld fixture your shaver socket and then this is a floating vanity so it's easy to clean underneath it and then of course the last thing here is your um large heated towel rail now coming through into the next bedroom i love it so you've got a wardrobe there fitted wardrobe there and then you've got a large wall-to-wall -wall headboard and a large well two large bedside tables there it's a dual aspect room as well so you've got a window facing the side and a window facing the front of the property with a large radiator underneath there is room yeah ample room for a dressing table and now just in case you thought that was it we've got another space here is your ensuite so the ensuite is a three-piece suite you've got a large mirror again you've got the shaver sockets you've got the toilet and the sink and the shower with that beautiful detail with the shower valves outside and the towel rail and i wanted to mention there's downstairs does have underfloor heating but there's also underfloor heating to every single bathroom yeah that's great so this is really nice and warm as well i love it and i love the little detail of the upstand not the upstand sorry the yeah actually the um skirting which is done in the tiled trim all the way around so that is the ensuite to this bedroom now one more mystery door guys and then our favorite room we're going to show you so this one's quite simple 
is your kind of the other component to the air source heat pump that we saw earlier. This is what's powering all those thermostatic showers that we're seeing throughout the whole home. And now let me show you what you've all been waiting for. This is your primary suite. So through this door is your primary suite, which consists of bedroom, walk-in wardrobe area, and an ensuite. Let's start in the bedroom. So we've got this vaulted ceiling, and you can see you've got like a miniature chandelier, drop-down pendant above the bed. You've got all that ceiling height and head height to play with. Isn't that just fabulous? So a large bed there, and both sides do have a wall-mounted light. So things like that are usually customizable. This is a show home, so they've kind of, kind of really kind of, um, they've shown you an example of what you can do with the property by really taking everything to that next level. Got a large radiator, a large window, and two smaller windows just there. So this, even though you can't see it, this faces the rear garden. So it gives you that peaceful, beautiful views of the landscaping that you've got in your garden. You can overlook the garden. The kids could be playing downstairs. And then you've got, um, you know, that kind of relationship with what's going on outside and inside. And then you've got the two windows facing this part of the garden. And Brian, you can look up again at the vaulted ceiling that I was talking to you earlier about. So yeah, that is the um, primary suite, kind of the bedroom zone, I would say. And I love this as well. They've built it into the headboard as like a show home feature, but I do like having the opportunity to have the light switches right by the bed. So again, it's nice and convenient for you. It gives you that luxury feel. So come with me and let me show you the walk-in wardrobe area. So I like this little kind of chaise lounge chair. It's another dual aspect room. So you've got a window here facing the front and window facing kind of your garden there. And then all along this wall, you've got mirrored wardrobe doors, as you can see. Let me just open one of them just as an example. I love the stage when they put in the outfits in there. It really gives you an idea of, oh, I can live here. So this is the clothes rail option, but there is obviously an option to have uh, drawers if you need to. And because of the vast ceiling height, you can take it all the way to the top and really maximize the space. Now I want to show you this room. Wow, this is your primary bedroom ensuite. And the flooring is so nice and cozy because it's heated. So let's work through this room. We've got a double vanity, as you can see. You've got like that his and hers arrangement and they're both floating, so easy for cleaning underneath. And then you've got your kind of like uh, medicine uh, cabinet and it, it is actually um, a standard fixture that you get in the primary bedroom. You've got a window there and I love how this shelf wraps round and then even though it steps out only just a little bit, it's such a fantastic place for you to obviously put your products and decor, maybe a picture frame against the wall and then look at this freestanding bathtub, beautiful and then you've got your wall mounted um, taps, I was going to say sockets, taps. I just love this arrangement. It's a four piece suite with a bonus sink. So we've got one, two, three, four, and I'm going to show you, you've also got this heater tower rail, which is a really good position to put it right next to the shower. Now, I love the fact that the shower valve is outside, like I mentioned previously. We've also got a rain head fixture there, a handheld device there by Aqualisa, and then you've got this, um, hinged piece of glass if you want to extend it further. Like if you're maybe washing your hair, you want to make sure you don't splash <laughs> the water outside. And it's such a nice contemporary detail to have that glass pane there instead of your usual like UPVC finishes. This is like a really beautiful chrome, high quality bath, um, sorry, shower area. You've got your toilet there, hidden cistern, and then the face plate there, and it's behind the door. So. I just close this, you can see what I mean. So if someone's coming in, you kind of have like that little bit of privacy. It's very discreet. And this is the ensuite. So come with me and I'm gonna just close off the tour and tell you a bit more about this house. So yeah, we've just finished touring the Hanwell um, by um, Hayfield Homes at the Hayfield Manor site. 
Did you see anything that we missed? If so, leave it in the comments below and we'll get back to you. But guys, we've actually toured another house by Hayfield Homes at a different site. So if you're curious to see another spin on decor, a bit of what Hayfield Homes can offer, definitely stick around. It'll pop up on the screen. And if we have a playlist available, that'll pop up instead. But yeah, whilst that's happening, click on one of these videos and subscribe so we see you any moment in the next few seconds you're going to click on a video you're going to do that click on a video and i'll see you shortly bye